and down, up and down, up and down. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Callie Stormdoll and today we're jumping back into the world of Barbie Life in a City. So Barbie Life in a City is coming out with a whole new movie and I believe it's titled It Takes Two. So right here we have this Brooklyn hair pack and I could not resist getting this. So this Brooklyn hair pack was available on Target.com. That's where I purchased mine from. You can see she comes with the hair bonnet, beads. Let's turn it around. So you can see she comes with a lot of hair accessories and different styles to make her hair and things like that. And I also did purchase this um, Barbie pet surprise just because I wanted this Brooklyn to have a pet. You know on those days you're home doing your hair, maybe you're relaxing, you and your pet. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do now, and this is the top so you can see some of those hairstyles. Let's take a look. Some of those looks at the top. We're going to get her open and get all these accessories out and we're going to look over everything. We'll be right back. Wow, so this is such a cool set. Not only are you getting the doll, you're getting a hair bonnet. It looks like it's a case to store all these supplies. You're getting a blow dryer. You're getting hair gel. You're getting um, a water bottle to like spray water. You're getting a cream. You're getting, what is this, a toothbrush case? Oh my gosh, like this is so cool. All these beads, these a comb headbands you also get some extensions if you would like she comes with slippers some rubber bands and different sizes this is so cool and she comes with the little wand you'll need to thread her hair with the beads now her face is a little wonky we can be honest she has a little wonky eye you can see it more this way than this way but yeah she does have a little wonky and she is on a static body so what we're going to do now is we're going to get her out of the packaging, look her over, and we're going to jump into some of these hairstyles. Brooklyn also comes with a brochure that shows you how to do the hairstyles that are featured on our packaging. I think that's really, really cool. I'm going to try to do um, the hairstyles, of course, on my own or from memory because this is definitely taking me to childhood when you would have your bonnet on and then you would do these different hairstyles. So we're definitely going to look over um, Miss Brooklyn, but I just wanted to show you guys it does come with a pamphlet. All right, Storm Dolls, and we are back and we have Miss Brooklyn out of the packaging. Now, just so you know, Miss Brooklyn does not come with a doll stand. This is a doll stand from one of my pull-up dolls. So we'll start with her hair since she is a hair doll. What do I think about her hair, the hair quality and things like that? It's very soft. It goes to the top of her bottoms. You can see that. So it's a decent length. It's I wouldn't mind if it was longer since it's a hair play doll. But this is a decent length. The doll does come out of the packaging with crinkle in her hair. So her hair is crinkled up. And as you can see, she does come with a one piece. I'll bring this closer so you guys can see. This is a Barbie one piece. It has B all over it. It can stand for Barbie or Brooklyn. So it does have shareable value. And when we look on the back, you can see there is no Velcro. And this is a one piece. And when we go down to our shoes, now you may need to put the plastic elastabands on so that you don't lose these. But these bunny slippers are really, really cute. And I also put her um, water spray bottle in her hand because I said this is so hilarious. If you know about it, you know. Sometimes you just need a, a water bottle to help you handle your hair in the morning. I really do think um, she's a beautiful doll. And to me, she's more inclusive than anything else. I have seen a few hashtags online, Barnet Barbie. Some people were saying like, um, is this Mattel being inclusive or is it Mattel being possibly offensive? But to me, I'm simply a getting complete inclusivity. For those of you who do wanna see a close up of her face, here is Miss Brooklyn's face. It is the similar sculpt. You can see she has a little bit of freckles and things like that. Very beautiful, light makeup. Now, as mentioned earlier, we do have a little Barbie surprise back here. These are the Barbie pets. This looks like this is, I don't know what series, but it says it has two pets inside. Collect them all. all. Right, so here is the Barbie bag, and you can see it's just a big plastic bag. Maybe we could um, turn it into a pet carrier. 
So what's interesting is you get two packs in these surprises. I didn't know that. So now you can see that it's empty. So let's see what the possibilities are. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm sure whatever we get today in this video, we're going to be pretty happy about it. Since Brooklyn doesn't come with a pet or anything. Which makes sense because it's a hair kit, but I just figure why not. So this is the first one. Let's see what Brooklyn got. Let's see. Oh my god. This is so adorable. So Brooklyn actually has a pet pony now. Oh, a pet unicorn with wings. And it has a little paw print right over there. So it's white and pink. And it's made of the felt material. Look at that braid. Okay, come through, Mattel. Yes. And it's felt material. The wings are glitterati. Yes. This looks really cute. <laughs> to Brooklyn. So let's open up the next one. Okay. Oh, this is so adorable. So this one is a little puppy. And it looks like he's collecting butterflies. Also has a little mark on the booty. It's the same mark, but purple and white and then felt all over. This is so adorable. So now Brooklyn has a pet dog and a pet unicorn. <laughs> Life in a big city. You never know what someone's collecting in their home. So now that we have Brooklyn and we have um, some pets for her, I just thought that would be a, a cute addition to the video. And now that we looked her over, we're gonna get into some hairstyles. Hmm. What is her first hairstyle going to be? Your girl Cal is gonna bring it back. So what I'm gonna do is try to create six different looks featuring the stuff we got in that kit. It's a lot of stuff, so six looks should not be difficult. We'll be right back with our first Brooklyn look. Be Bonnet Barbie Brooklyn. And we have all her accessories here. So we're gonna go into giving her um, some makeover look. So this is how she looks with her bonnet on. You know, she just woke up in the morning and she's ready to start getting this hair did. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with six hair looks for Brooklyn and I'm gonna make all of them right here on camera. So we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna prop up my camera and then we're gonna start to do Brooklyn's hair. Oh, grrr, so cute. So this is how the bonnet looks on her so this is what the bonnet would gives when it's on Brooklyn so the first thing Brooklyn does when she wakes up in the morning of course is she has to you know straight this so we know it's nice and straight and clean and ready to take on the day but you know if you're gonna do all that you have to remember to hydro her hair so we do have some conditioning lotion so we're gonna rub the conditioning lotion through. Like, I'm still not sure what this is supposed to be. I'm thinking it's something compactable. What we're gonna do for Brooklyn is just a basic headband look. So this is how Brooklyn would look with just the basic headband look. So this look for me definitely could be worn if she was going out to an amusement park or some type of festival, or it could just be an add-on to another style. So we could do the, the headband look, or we could do a more colorful look because she does have bright colors in her outfit. So if you want it, you could feature some of those, and that can be a look for Miss Brooklyn. So it's not perfect, but we did manage. We did manage to get a bead on. Let's at least get another one on. Let's see if we can at least get another bead. So they basically say you wrap the hair around first, right? Then when you have her hair wrapped down, that's when you slide on the bead. <laughs> so saying you wrap her hair around. Right. So you wrap the hair around first and then you slide on the bead and then after you get that through, some beads in her hair. Okay, so we're going to take this as a look number two. Yay! So we did the first look, which was the headbands. Number two was a little bit of bead work. So now we're going to see what Miss Brooklyn would look like if we decided and they come right out. 
um, let's say Miss Brooklyn, you know, she's off at college now, you know, they're making a sequel, it takes two. So now, for the sequel, let's say she is in, um, like a show and she wants a different look. So now we have these beads. So these are basically sew-ins and clip-ins. So it's basically weave you can put in her hair. So now if blended the right way, you can have Miss Brooklyn with a whole new look, okay? So maybe Brooklyn doesn't just wanna have this type of look. So we do have more extensions that we can place in. And you can really place them in any way you want. You don't have to place them in using the head tie because we could also do something like this. Let's say Brooklyn just wants a few pieces of her hair, um, you know, with a couple of, you know, miscellaneous weave pieces. You know what I'm saying? There's never been anything wrong with the color campaign. And that's what it looks like Miss Brooklyn is into. Where Brooklyn at? Yes. So this could be a look for Brooklyn. And of course, you know, these looks are rushed. You know, you, you know, we doing a review. You know, you know, you know. But this is cute. I'm actually loving what it could bring. And it's actually crimped just like her real hair. So, you know, you know, you know, you know. If you know, you know, you know. So this is also another look. We can count this as a three. This is our third look. And this is Brooklyn on the go, you know. She wanted to add in a few extensions. And what I love about this doll is everything we do, once you take everything out, just slightly brush it back. If you guys just want that doll to get back into its, you know, original look. This is our Brooklyn or our Bonnet Barbie. Now she does also come with hair ties. So let's say you actually want to just give her a updo, a downdo, a half do. She comes with a bunch of elastic bands that we could do that with. So let's say Brooklyn wants a little updo or something like that. So it comes with different looks so you don't have to be stuck with the one look. Now along with the hair tie, she also comes with clips. on in her hair, which is a look, which you can count this as her fourth look. Now this is really cute, so this is hairspray. It says Barbie on the side, so this is hairspray. So maybe now Brooklyn wants to tease her hair a little bit. Let's see what we can do if we whip up a whole different look. For anyone who is a gift giver, this is a cool idea. So you can see, you can put things like that in her hair, the rubber bands, the clips, of course the beads. So let's say we wanted to add on to her hair with some beads. We can do that. Okay. So we can kind of count this as a fourth look, but basically you would take the hair and then you would feed the beads through. This is something that you could take your time with. I'm only rushing through these hairstyles because of the sake of the review. But just imagine that you have this set and you can take your time and place every single bead and everything like that. So now we're gonna do one more look and this will be our sixth look. Hopefully you were keeping count because the hair is soft, but we wanna see what could this hair actually give if braided, okay? So let, let's see what, what it's actually bringing to the party. And now that it's braided, it is actually going to bring a different look to Brooklyn as well. Um, I believe right now she may be on retail for $29.99. So this isn't perfect, but this is kind of giving the illusion of what she would be given if her hair was braided. When can we say we got an exclusive bonnet Barbie? I have never seen bonnet Barbie before. Like this is the first time I've seen a doll featured with the bonnet included and then she has all these different um hair accessories and things like that so i think it's really cool and i'm glad that they released her now let's see what this is going to be given so this is a little bit of a rush job but you can see which um what Brooklyn would basically be giving if she was braided up and things like that definitely colorful flavorful doll I think anyone who gets Miss Brooklyn is going to be very happy. This is our first Bonnet Barbie. So I definitely think we should show support for Mattel so that they want to, you know, 
include different things like that as to do you see offensive or do you see inclusive and for the most part everyone is seeing inclusive no one is saying that they think it was a dig or anything like that because the truth be told it is a part of a certain culture you know you do wrap up your hair in a bonnet at night you do wear the silk you know you keep your hair manageable with moisturizers and creams and things like that now what do i think could have simply topped off bonnet barbie brooklyn is if we, of course, had an articulated body, yes. Yeah. A change of outfit so that it could be like once she finished, gets her hair done, she is going out on the town. But like I said, she comes with this pamphlet of all these ideas and all these different ways you can style her hair. I definitely think she's worth it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with Miss Brooklyn. Now that she's in my collection, I'm gonna be adding different clips and you know aesthetics and themes to her hair. But yes, this is definitely a part of doll history that I could not pass up. This is our Miss Brooklyn. So she's definitely bringing something new to the party. But let me know what you guys thought about Miss Brooklyn. What do you think? I love how they gave her a wide tooth comb. Mattel is paying attention. Yes. So they're definitely trying to be completely inclusive. And I love that. So for me, I don't see offensive at all. The Bonnet Barbie is here. And I'm hoping that she's here to stay. I want to thank you guys for watching today. If you're new to my channel, like and share the video. Let me know what you thought about this video. And let me know um, what hairstyles you would come up with if you had this doll. Or if you plan on picking her up, let me know what um, hairstyles you did come up with. And if you would like, if you're on Instagram, you can always tag me in your post. I would love to see the different hairstyles you come up with. This is at Callie Storm Doll. Callie Storm underscore doll. And you guys can tag me in your Barnet, Bonnet Barbie post or your Brooklyn hairstyle post and let me know what you came up with. So let me know what you guys thought about today's video. Do you think this will be a doll that you collect or is this an easy pass for you? Let me know by leaving me a comment below. If you're new to the channel, like and share. That helps with the algorithm and it allows others to see this video as well. If you have any questions about today's video that I did not answer, please write them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. This pet carrier is also good for um carrying some of her hair supplies. Yes. Always got to be inventive, Brooklyn. Yes. So I want to thank you guys for watching today and we will see you on our next video.